Okay. Uh, so if you have been able to do it or if it didn't work for you, try it later. Uh, it should work. So the last thing uh, that we want to do is we want to install some more uh, libraries. Okay. And these libraries are uh, to give you access to the sensors which are on your Arduino uh, nano board. Okay. So I will uh, you know, share the name of the library in, in our group chat uh, in, in two minutes. But basically all you have to do is uh, uh, you, you just look at the library name. Okay. So like the first one is called APDS, whatever, 9960. So uh, you go to Arduino uh, IDE, you go back to the libraries and you just search for uh, search for this. Okay. So you search for the library and in my case, I've already installed it, but it's the same process. You just, you, you'll have an install button. You just say install and that library will, will get installed. Okay. So this APD 69 uh, S9960, this is a library which will allow you to read gestures, colors, and proximity. Okay. And then all you have to do the same process for all the three libraries. Okay. So. I, I'll share these names with you later. So HTS uh, 221. So you copy this. This is the one which reads the temperature and humidity sensor on the Nano 33 BLE sense board. So you go back to the IDE and you just search for this and again, install the ID, uh, install the library. And the last one, this is the pressure sensor. So you come here, search for it and install it. Okay. Once all these libraries are installed. So remember you had installed some libraries earlier. So the library you had installed earlier were these. Okay. So Howard tiny MLX was one library, Arduino BLE, and then Arduino LSM nine, whatever. Right. So these libraries are there. Now the good part about these libraries is that once you install them and then you go to file example and you go to the library that you installed. So I, like I, uh, told you about Harvard. Uh, in Harvard, we tried this micro speech. Okay. So when we finish the session on your own, you can launch this magic wand. It will open a sketch. You transfer the sketch. It will take time for uh, Arduino for the transfer to happen because it's an ML model. And then, uh, you know, uh, this particular magic wand is like you, you say W, you say O, it will uh, open the serial monitor. It will uh, make that W and O like that. Okay. So you can try, uh, let's say the magic wand here. Um, and then let's look at the other libraries we have just installed. Okay. So like this is a library you installed Arduino APD S. So I'm saying just go to that library. You will have the sample sketches here. So this is a color sensor. Okay. So you click it, it will open a new sketch. So I'm closing this one. This is the new sketch. So this is a color sensor sketch. Okay. So I'm saying some sketch will open and you just make sure you are on the right board and you just transfer it. So if you transfer it again, it will take some time, uh, but it will start, uh, you know, compiling, uploading, and then you open the serial monitor. Okay. So it's uploading. This is a small one, so we can wait. Uh, okay. So it's uploading. Then you open the serial monitor and it's telling you the RGB value. See, when I'm putting it on my black uh, uh, jumper, the RGB value is 000. Okay. And when I'm showing it here, see the RGB value is changing. So it's recognizing the colors. Okay. And you can take it to different places and you will see that uh, it keeps updating and back to my jacket 000. Okay. So I'm saying just like this, install all the libraries and go to file example, go to that library, which you have installed. Uh, so like, uh, you know, we installed the other ones, like whatever, uh, HTS 221. So you open this, open this, that sketch, transfer it. It will give you the instructions on, uh, you know, what, what uh, that sketch is going to do. Open the monitor, the serial monitor and see whether those, uh, you know, those sensors are working for you or not. Okay. Uh, some of them may not work, uh, I've, I've not tried all of them, so I'm not hundred percent sure, but they will work. And then I'm saying, uh, what you can try later is in this case, when some color is being recognized, 
it's simply printing the RGB value. And what I'm saying is for all of these sketches, you can then write additional code, which could be like a conditional statement. And then you could say that if black is detected, do something. And then from your Arduino, if you have connected some uh, servo motor or geared motor or LED or some other sensor or some other uh, equipment, you can start controlling that. That you can do later. I'm, you may not be able to do that today. Okay. So for all the libraries, there will be some sample sketches. You can see the library you have installed, open the sample sketches and try out the different sensors uh, that are there on your, uh, uh, on, on the Arduino. And you can also go to experiments with Google and all the ones that are here, you can, you can try, try those also. Uh, for this, you, you will need that tiny motion sensor running on your, uh, uh, on your Arduino, because that's the only way to connect the uh, Arduino with your laptop via Bluetooth. Okay. So I'm going to stop here. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask.